Hi folks, uh, another gear show down here uh, today, taking advantage of some nice uh, flying weather. So uh, today I'm doing a, uh, a kind of a showdown between a couple of 2208, 2600 kV motors. Uh, this one's the uh, DYS, um, 2208, 2600, I got this one from Banggood. I've been flying this motor for well over a year. Uh, and had some great luck with it on some different props. And then uh, in the second part of the video, uh, we'll be um, comparing it to the um, Multistar Viking 2208-2600, uh, which is a quad racing motor uh, I picked up from Hobby King a while ago. So anyway, we're using the Turnigy Plush 40 amp speed controller with uh, the factory settings, uh, 2200 3 cell 45C battery. Uh, so here we go uh, with the DYS 2208. <laughs> So I've actually run this motor quite a bit with the uh, with the Master Airscrew 6x4x3, uh, running the 6x4 APC gas today. So not bad, moves this plane along uh, pretty decently. On the bench, I think at full throttle, uh, it's about 915 grams. Uh, total thrust. Uh, the one big difference, and I'll quote the numbers uh, in the second part with the, the Viking Multistar, the, the biggest improvement on the bench with that motor was sort of at mid-throttle and uh, I, I, won't, uh, I won't try and guess at the numbers right now. I'll have to read them again. Doing all this uh, couple of different rounds of field testing here today. I got so many numbers in my head. I'm, Lucky if I could remember my age, but <laughs> that, that might be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it moves along pretty nicely. Um, I have flown this quite a bit in my F-22 version 5 with uh, both the Master Airscrew 6x4x3 and the 6x4 APC gas. Uh, probably gets a better uh, better top end with the uh, the six by four APC two blade than it does with the three blade. Um, the one thing about the three blade is that it uh, gives you a little bit softer almost uh, flight experience, almost like there's a little bit of expo um, on the throttle. You know, it just the three bladed prop doesn't spin up as not as well. But it, this motor ran uh, that prop with. Uh, no problems at all. Now, on the website, they say that it's, uh, the Banggood website, they say that it's rated for 43.1 amps or something. I think that's just a number that they've pulled off a test chart. Uh, you know, talking, I think talking with RC Plane Pirate, uh, I don't think that this is a 43 amp motor. I certainly wouldn't run it up to 43 amps. I think I've run it at 30, between 30 and 35 depending on the prop and it's it's been pretty warm so I don't think I'd run it any more than that so anyway folks there's the DYS 2208 2600 um, so I'm just gonna stop here uh, swap out put in the Viking Multistar and we'll be right back hi everyone uh, back with part two of the uh, 2208 2600 kV motor showdown uh, so this is the, the Multistar Viking 2208 2600 from Hobby King uh, again, 6x4 EPC gas prop. It's actually the same prop. I had to, uh, to borrow it from the, uh, the other motor. Uh, Turn to G plus speed controller again. Uh, so the numbers, just looked at the numbers again. Um, about two more amps at mid throttle, but on the bench, which you can read uh, in detail below, I have a, I wrote a bench test showdown blog post. Uh, it said uh, like three more ounces of thrust. So uh, we'll see the mid range uh, top, top end. Uh, about 45 grams more thrust and uh, and of course more amp draw, but you can read more of those details in the blog post Let's uh, let's see what happens when the rubber hits the road here Yeah, so right away I notice a, a definite increase in mid-range speed and power Yeah, and my poor old 56 year old mark one Eyeglass assisted eyeballs are not uh, are not tuned to be able to tell you whether the 45 grams at the top end makes a difference 
but uh, definitely mid uh, mid range here, just cruising around. And I think a uh, bit better throttle response, maybe because of that uh, increased power at mid range. Runs nice and smooth. So I guess the one thing you have to ask yourself in the, uh, you know, if you're looking at this motor, as you'll read about in my blog post, it's it's a pretty expensive motor. It's the uh, most expensive motor. I, I got this mine on sale for 16 bucks, so I'm not whining. But uh, top price is, is uh, 28 bucks, which is what it lists for now. Those are in US dollars. So compared to about $18 for the DYS from uh, Banggood. Now, what I would say about this motor is I think it has a heck of a lot more potential to be pushed a lot harder than the uh, than the DYS motor. <laughs> On the Hobbywing 40 amp uh, speed controller with the you know with the custom settings I found for higher KV motors, it really cranks out some thrust um, over a kilogram. I think 1,015, which is uh, about 45 grams more even than. Uh, than what it's turning out right now with this Turnigy Plush on the same battery, three cell battery. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, these are, these are, this is why, this is why you do this testing, is to, or I do this testing anyway, is to kind of find these things out and experiment, you know, optimize setups. Okay, so let's just come by here and see if we can't do one more. <laughs> those things of dirt there so yeah so there we go folks there's the uh, multi-star viking uh, 2208 2600 quad racing motor like i said uh you know it is quite a bit more expensive than the dys motor um i did you know let me know what you think i certainly felt on the sticks i felt a lot better uh power uh at uh, mid throttle you know that sort of 50 maybe to 75 percent uh, throttle range which is where you know essentially i fly you know, despite the fact that I like to do all these high-speed runs on these videos, uh, that's probably where I spend most of my time. So I did, I did notice right away uh, a better performance uh, mid-range, even though it's, you know, it's probably drawing a couple more amps. Um, but like I said, I think that this motor probably has more potential. It's uh, definitely, when you look at the two of them side by side, it's, it's a bit better made. Um, you know, it has all the things you want to look for in a, in a high-performance, high-KV motor. Um, so I'm going to leave, actually, RC Plane Pirate has done quite a bit of testing on both this motor and the, the DYS 2208-2600 uh, on, on different props and I think different batteries. I think he tested them both on 4RS, uh, but I could be wrong. But anyway, uh, please check out his channel. I'll have the link down below. Uh, tons of great information there. So, and again, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you thought, uh, if there was a big difference in, in power and performance uh, between these two motors. Uh, so, thanks, thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.